Hey guys, it's time to talk about one of my favorite combos in Modern, and this is definitely, you know, one of, it's it's a good combo. I like it a lot because it does, uh, it's the best combo right now. It's kind of the only combo that's playing being played in Modern. So you have the one drop creature vampire. It's a 1-1. One, one. You sacrifice a creature, you get to scry one. Uh, mainly its ability is it's a sack outlet, so there's not too many of them at a one drop. And then you have either Malera or Anna Fezzer, Kin Tree Spirit. So either of them, what they're going to do is they're going to make sure Kitchen Finks can come back and back and back and back. Uh, Kitchen Finks, every time he comes back, gives you two life, so you can go infinite. If you have one, if you have this combination, it goes infinite. If you have this combination, it goes infinite. You can also sub out pretty much any card with Persist. Uh, there's another, uh, I think it's a Goblin or Hobgoblin or something. And that card uh, will do damage. So that's a finisher as opposed to, I like Kitchen Finks better because it's a, if you don't draw into the other card, the, if you draw into the other card and you play it, it's not as good because you need to survive until you can pull off your combo. Uh, how you pull off this combo with relative ease is you have many tutoring abilities, but not like in the t traditional sense that you can tutor for a creature. You need to do a lot of work and kind of get lucky. So your Coco can tutor six deep, and depending on what cards you have, you can just maybe win at the end turn. So it might be a turn four win if you Coco correctly. The next card that you can use is Call of Courting or Cord of Calling. And that card is a little more expensive. I like it a little less because it does involve um, it does involve a little bit more uh, commitment than like a Coco plus a Coco puts in two cards. But you might be able to get the one green card you need. Again, it has to be a green card. So you're looking at Malera or Finks as opposed to something like um, Coco, which you can hit any card. Let's see what. Cord of Calling. Cord of Calling is uh, very interesting as a speculation. Might have already gone up. Yeah, it's a ten dollars right now on paper, uh, which is interesting. So it's actually a creature card. So I was reading over it and I was like, wait, I was thinking, I've uh, Cord of Card. I have used Cord of Calling for uh, Anna Feather before. So it's any creature card. Does not have to be green. Uh, but typically, when you're convoking, you need green creatures. But your green creatures are producing color anyway so it's x triple green and you can go ahead and get grab any piece that you want and you can also convoke um, in case you need to produce more i like it a lot it de definitely does get the pieces so you out of the deck you have eight cards that can grab multiple pieces and you just need some combination of you know this combination or this combination it almost top aided um it almost got there but then the guy, um, Frank, he pretty much got rid of all, he removed all the uh, Cocos, and then that was just a huge setup back the other player could not return from. Definitely, I would say this was definitely a fun deck, in my opinion. It is, I'm going to play it, I'm going to build it. I think it's the best combo in modern right now. Is it as good as Adrazi? No. Is it as good as Affinity? No. But... It gets better. It's not one of those decks that when you're playing Adrazi and you're playing Affinity and you're playing those two decks, they don't really, in my opinion, get better and they don't reward you for more skill because you're doing the same thing over and over again. But this deck, you have to know when to Convoke, when not to Convoke, when to Coco, how to get your combo. It's a fun, interactive deck uh, that you, if, if your opponent's removing your pieces, you got to go find new, new pieces, you got to hold pieces up. A lot of times you can sacrifice one of these pieces because you're running eight. You're running eight total, and they're actually, you know, and Kitchen Fix actually does a lot of work. It might have to be a beatdown. Also, knowing when to just scry and how to scry. The deck is insanely complicated to play, and the more you play, the better, better you will get at it. And I think that's probably one of the better decks of Magic right now. Anyway, bye guys.